stay into. Oh yeah. It's inspirational to other people when they see you doing difficult shit. Your body is forced to fight the cold and create what's known as cold shock proteins. If I wasn't conditioned over the last three months, I would not be surviving right now. <laughs> I could have rubbed this in because I come here hard. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fucking cold. So my friends, welcome to the Winter Cold Plunge Challenge this year, 2021. I just want to talk to you guys about why you would do this and how to do it the right way. Sorry for a few kids running in front of the camera. <laughs> Actually, wait, before we even do get into this, I need to get my face under, so shut the hang on a second. Pop that thing, she gonna pop one too. Okay, she pop that thing, she gonna pop one too. Okay, she pop that thing, she gonna Fuck. <laughs> it's cold. Okay, so this is the way it works. For every single week of winter, June, July, August, you're gonna get down to the ocean and you're gonna get in for a minimum of 10 minutes, submerged to the neck. The only thing you're allowed is swimmers, no full leggings, no, no full anything, all right? I don't wanna see no wetsuits, I don't wanna see any of that shit. Minimum one time a week, I'm going for five because last year was my first year of doing this and you know, one time a week was brutal back then, but now it's nothing. And I've been preparing for three months straight all through autumn uh, to get ready for this winter to push it as hard as I can. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Hang on, it's all over. So the main reason why you'd want to do this is for the physiological benefits, the science. It's for the science. It's basically a little mini war every time you come in here for your immune system. Your body is forced to fight the cold and create what's known as cold shock proteins and essentially boost itself to defend itself against anything that it would invade. It also just increases your blood circulation, which of course incre increases your recovery, your body's ability to recover from anything. Also the stress relief emotionally. It's a nice emotional balance for you as you come in here each day or each night. Ha! <sighs> Oh, that's fucking cold. <laughs> your muscular recovery, you recover so much faster from your workouts, from your training, from your sport, when you're out here, because you're getting the anti-gravity as you float. Don't get the bike wet as you float to resolve that. And see, that's all good shit. All that physiology is really good shit. You can check out Dr. Rhonda Patrick and Wim Hof for more on that. They could speak to you about the science far more than I can. But now I can speak to you about the spiritual benefits. It's a place to dump all your pain, right? None of your shit can survive out here when it's freezing. No matter what you dealt with that day, if someone died, having arguments with people, people disappoint you, people not living up, maybe you fucked up. Oh shit. Maybe you fucked up a whole bunch and you made mistakes as we all do as human beings. When you come out here, the ocean holds you. The great mother holds you out here. And you just, you find a place, you find a home. This is like home for me out here. <laughs> oh shit, that tide is coming in. <laughs> so I want to now explain the three stages of what happens through the cold plunge very quickly. Stage number one. Oh, stage number one is the shock. So when you first come in here, you're going to get that temperature shock. And you will go into shock. You'll start doing the <gasps> breathing if you're unconditioned. If that happens, it normally lasts 30 to 60 seconds, depending on ah, how well trained you are, how well conditioned you are. All you have to do is just control your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And you'll take control of your body and you'll calm down. That's the shock period that lasts anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, when you, as you guys saw, when I first got in here, it almost looks like the water isn't cold. It's bloody freezing in here. My skin is burning, but I've been conditioning for the last three months, so I'm okay with it. I didn't really have the shock period. So don't bail, don't run away, just because for the first 30 to 60 seconds, it's ridiculously tough. All right, just hang with. Stay in. And then you go through stage two, which is the adaptation stage, which is where you actually get the training, which is where you actually go into war, where you get that tiny little war I mentioned before. And that's where you're seeking that 10 minutes. You want 10 minutes in, and that's when your body is going to fight to survive. It's going to fight to maintain its core temperature. As it's plummeting, it's going to shake. It's going to do everything it can. Uh, swim around. Swim around. I don't mean like do like an actual workout, but go underneath. Obviously, I'm not going to go underneath because I've got the mic. Do some Tai Chi if you want. Move your hands around. Whatever you want. But just stay in and learn to breathe. Just breathe through it. And then what you will notice when you have really started to hit your wall with the adaptation stage is you start to get full body shakes. I'm starting to get... Whew, I'm starting to get the initial shakes right now. That's because I'm not breathing properly and I'm talking to you guys with the camera right now. So look for that shakes, look for the internal shakes, look for the shakes on the spine. You can feel it when a wave is gonna come. Uh, look for all those, those cues and those signs and then just sit into it, don't run away from it. If you need to set an alarm for what 10 minutes is gonna go off on the beach, for me, I've got a really 
good internal clock because I've been doing it every day for three months. So I know how long 10 minutes is and I normally push it for 15 to 20, but 10 minutes is the minimum. Submerge to the neck. Yeah. Now, finally, with stage three, <laughs> you see there's a lot of kids up with the jetty. Finally, with stage three, the wind chill. Stage three is when you get out of the water and the ordeal is not over, which is what I love about the ocean cold plunge compared to an ice bath, which is the ordeal is over when you get out and you get into a hot shower. When you get out of the ocean plunge, the actual most dangerous part of it is when you get out and when you're wet and the wind fucking hits you, it hits you like a truck, right? And if you've got a plummeted core temperature already, it is death. It is literally death. I almost died twice uh, last year because I didn't know that you have to have a hot thermos of water to bring your core temperature back to stabilization because no amount of rugs, no amount of clothes will get you back there. No amount of sitting in the car. I almost crashed my car once. I almost lost consciousness several times actually and dark, dark times because I didn't know this shit. When you get back onto the beach, don't fap about. Do not fap about. Get Get warm, get dry, get the hot liquid in. That'll save you. And that actually is insurance policy to allow you to stay in here as long as possible. Right now, I'm comfortable to stay in here for 20 to 30 minutes as long as I have the hot water in there. That's all that really matters, yeah? One of the other major benefits of doing this ocean cold plunging is that it's some hard shit. And hard shit make good people, right? Do difficult things. Make yourself strong. Don't be a bitch, right? That's why we're out here. That's, it's a big part of why we're out here. Oh, it's also straight beautiful as well when you see the sunset. There's a lot of people out right now because it's Sunday, but there's going to be a lot of times where it's just you and it's no one, no one else. And you just got to confront yourself and you got to get out here and you got to do the damn thing. Yeah, do the damn thing, son. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for one more dunk. Hang on. Fuck me. Fuck me that it's cold. <laughs> We're back in the game. <laughs> it's probably too dark to so hang on. This is what I was talking about before is not fapping about when you get out. So I'm gonna try and get dry as soon as possible. Down the hot water as soon as possible. You can really push the limits out here. Actually, I should probably just... You can really push your limits out here if you have a hot limit of water. And one of the other good things about doing it when there's people around is that it's inspirational to them. It's inspirational to other people when they see you doing difficult shit. Don't go to secluded beaches. Go to, go to popular beaches to do this shit and show people what it is. The beautiful sunsets tonight though. And here, 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 here. I don't know, I've been dick in it, here. The thermos. As long as you have the thermos with hot water, you can stay in there as long as you want. Bring yourself to hypothermia. This will bring you back. Trust me, I didn't know about this last year and almost died twice, so. Oh, it's absolutely lifesaver. Because I'm all covered in sand, so I can't uh, I can't towel off with a whole bunch of sand with me. We got some beautiful people up on the jetty as well. Sunset is ridiculous. Oh. These people want me to come in. They're coming down to the. <laughs> they want me to go the whole way. In. I didn't come in here for them at all, but I'm going in now because all those people on the jetty want to see me go in. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's a lot colder the second time around. I would not recommend, but it is fucking beautiful. And now you can see me hitting the shakes. We'll stay into the... Oh yeah! That's what I'm fucking talking about. It is so cold the second time around. So all those people in the jetty got what they asked for. They got what they wanted. The shakes. The shakes are real, bruh. So you want to get around this cold punch. All right, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch and don't be a bitch and just do it. And you guys will be better off for it. You'd be way better off for it. If I wasn't conditioned over the last three months, I would not be surviving right now. But I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. And I wish you guys the absolute best in your lives. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Oh, I got them shakes. But it's okay that I'm shaking this much because we got the whole water. That's what matters. Don't fap around when you're getting out of the water. Just get out. Get back to the whole water. And you guys will have a really good time. Monday to Friday, like I said, I'll show this on my Instagram. Yeah.